So measuring air pressure or atmospheric pressure, um, we often talk about the old school way of doing this. Uh, the newer ways are more precise and not nearly as fun. Uh, we'd like to talk about barometers. A barometer is an instrument used to measure air pressure. So uh, the original barometers were made out of mercury. So what you would do is you take a very tall uh, skinny test tube, we're talking about like a meter tall, and uh, you would fill it with mercury completely and then you would turn it upside down into a pool of mercury like this. And what's going to happen is the mercury is going to run out of the tube leaving a vacuum at the top, leaving nothing at the top. And uh, it will only run down for so far because as it pushes down, the air pressure is pushing uh, as it falls down, the it has to raise this reservoir of mercury up, and air pressure resists that. So the air pressure outside is pushing this mercury up the tube towards the vacuum. And so at high air pressure, this column will get pushed up higher. At lower air pressures, the column would fall. And so you can actually measure the air pressure simply by finding out how tall the column is. So if you just measure the top of the column and the top of the reservoir, measure that difference, that difference is going to be some length. And that height is in is the air pressure. So a lot of times our air pressures are measured in inches of mercury or millimeters of mercury, and that's why. This is why. So at standard pressure, we would expect that this would be about uh, 760 millimeters tall, about 76 centimeters, about three quarters of a meter stick. And that is how you would uh, do that. Like I said, any length will work. This is referred to as atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure is sometimes referred to, uh, a lot of times if you say PATM, that is atmospheric pressure. It's the pressure of the outside air which we would normally expect to be right around one atmosphere or 760 millimeters of mercury, but usually not exactly. Um, and a manometer would measure not air pressure, atmospheric pressure, but pressure of an individual sample. And uh, we'll save that for a different lesson.